Okay guys, now we're gonna do the demonstration of Old World with a color wax. Old World Fine Marina. Okay, beautiful color. It's a nice dark brown. Old World style. Remember, Old World, you don't wanna cover the whole board, you wanna leave gaps. Come back with a clean trial and smear it. Remember, you wanna leave everything connecting like a river. Everything connected. You don't want to do little islands like a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit there. Nah, that's for rookies. You don't want to do that. Let's do long strokes. Long strokes. Come back. Smear it. Back, smear it. The smearing part is very important because that's your texture. That's how that's how the wall is gonna look in the end. Clean your trial, come back, smear it. Very simple. Very, very simple. Now when that dries, it's gonna look like this. Remember, anything with lime dries like 40% lighter. Remember that. So it's more like, that mode looks more like 400%, but that's okay. <laughs> we're gonna, it's, uh, it's, it's a universal tint, so it's very dark. So now we're going to do second coat application. Nice and tight. Now you're going to put pressure. Always pressure, always in circular motion. Nice and tight. See how all that texture is popping through? That's what you want. That is your final look. In other words, whatever texture you create in your first coat is going to show, it's going to magnify actually in your second coat. Exactly. So there's no wrong way how to do this. You could do like um, horizontal lines, vertical lines. It doesn't really matter. So this is just the old world style. Come back, clean it up. Now you're gonna come back with your burnishing trowel. Remember, always have a rag with you to keep cleaning it. And start burnishing it up. Keep cleaning it. And when you burnish, you want to burnish in every direction. So always look at it, make sure it's shining. Remember, with Old World, what's going to shine is the highs, the high spots. So you're going to have highs and lows. That's the, that's the look. The high spots are going to be shiny and compressed and darker. Yes. And the areas that you can't get to uh, will be with your lighter and dull. And dull, more matte. There we go. Now what we're going to do is dry it up and put the color wax on it. So normally you would just let it dry, but for the benefit of this uh, little tape. For this video, we're going to show you how we do it. No stopping, no coming back and fixing, editing. No, we're doing it all real. No Photoshop. This is live, baby, live. No Photoshop. No Photoshop.
see how it starts drying a lot lighter? It's the way anything with lime is like that. Kind of nice color. Yeah. No, I'm going to just let this dry on its own, right? Of course. Now, the way you feel, like, it's also um, still wet when you touch it, and you feel something really, really cold. That's because there's still moisture inside, there's still water inside, so it's still very humid inside. That means it's still wet. So you feel it, like right here feels really wet. If you notice, it's darker. So it's still wet. All this is good. That's good enough. Now we're gonna come back with the color wax. Now this is very interesting. This is very interesting and fun, and it makes the water look amazing. Come back, your trial's always gotta be clean, remember that. So this is neutral wax. This is neutral clear wax, wax, our clear wax, that we added some tint to it and made, made it to this dark blue color. It's amazing. Nice and tight. Always nice and tight. And you want to do the movements and circular motions too, like you're doing a third coat of Venetian plaster. Always nice and tight and in circular motion. You don't want to do straight movements because then you can see that. And it dries. So always keep it authentic. If you want to see a, a actual sample, you just give us a call, and we will send we will send it to you. Okay. This is kind of a no fuss, no muss. Uh, exactly. Very simple. Finish. You notice now. Another thing is that you can't come back with a rag right away and start buffing it. You want the Marmarino, the Venetian plaster, to absorb the wax for a few minutes and then you buff it. If you buff it out really fast right away, you can start pulling some of the product out because you can start rubbing it off. Because the, the product is still wet, the wax is making the product wet, and if you come back with the rag, you, all you're doing is just basically taking off the product. So you don't want to do that. Come back, you can dry it up. I'm gonna dry it up because it's a sample. Amazing this look. So easy. Two coat process with a, with a wax. You get this crazy beautiful finish. Can't even beat that. That's how we do here in Ferenti.
Old World Fine Marmorino. Booyah.